Well, morning, guys. Another glorious morning this morning. Just a few clouds. Temperatures are really good. Had a good night's sleep this morning. We've made our way out to the Stockman's Hall of Fame. Go and have a walk through that, check it out, and see what it's all about. But it was a good night last night. Didn't really hear any of the road trains. The aircon in this thing sounds like a plane That's taking nice. off every time. <laughs> The um, compressor kicks in, it even vibrates the the camper like we're going down the runway. Yeah, but no, all cool. Um, over the road there's the Cornish Museum. Uh, we did that last time. Still just got to go out through the air park one day. So, yeah, that's it for the moment. We'll talk later.
beach. What is it I keep forgetting? Barra crab. Well, so we have to have some crab in Barra crab. So that's what you need to do. You have to eat whatever the name is or closest to the name of the, the location. Uh, yeah, so the van's still going well. I was going to drive, except Craig took over. So, tick, tick for me. I, I said I was going to drive, but you know, so I tried. So guys, you know, I did try. Um, all right, we'll uh, check in later. Alrighty, bye. G'day guys. Well, we've made it into Bark Alden on the drive from um, Ilfracombe. No idea if you can, if that's how you pronounce it. You can Google it and check it out. Um, they're going out to Emerald, so we've just stopped in at Bark Alden. Really nice little town. This is where the Tree of Knowledge is. Stopped here, so hopefully Donna can get some knowledge maybe out of the tree. Not holding hopes. Nah. But like, there's lots of little things in this town. Very pretty town. Don't know what that tent is over there. We'll have to find out. But now you got your old pubs in here and lots of stuff for as you're walking along. Um, we're just going down the side of the road. Here's a DRCW Doyle Memorial with a big bar Alden. Friendly place. Has been so far. No one's yelled at us, so it can't be that bad. And um, some really cool artwork over here. Yeah, so you've got lots of little things like, yeah, they've got a mural over there where every moment becomes a memory. And then a really cool, like, graffiti, graffiti thing with Bar Alden on it. Let's take you for a walk over and have a look. But yeah, lots of lovely little towns like this that you stop at on your road trips. Yeah, so, but it's another glorious day, as you can see. Yeah. What are your thoughts so far, Donna? Yeah, it's very pretty. I like it. It's got some unique art things and stuff like that. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, so, we'll, we'll stop talking. I'll put some music on and, yeah, we'll keep walking through the town. guys we've made it to the tree of knowledge let's see if this can help Donna out I'm not holding my hopes up too high why is it the tree of knowledge it says it over there <laughs> what and it'll why say is it the there. tree of knowledge see Donna doesn't like reading she just if it's if it's got picture books well then she's all good here's one first thing about it was under the tree of knowledge next to the railway station that an organisation was formed in 1891 that later became the Australian Labor Party. Ah, oh, so it's um, political. So it was formed here. Someone's birthday. But there's the tree of knowledge. It's quite dead. Uh, lots of these things hanging. I'm guessing it's going to be like wind chimey sort of things. There's lots of these little things in the outback that yeah, really cool that you just don't don't realise are here. Uh, so you got pubs and there's the old Bark Alden train station. Pretty cool. Alrighty guys, now it's scary times. Um, I'm in the passenger seat now and Donna is driving. She's already struggled just trying to do a simple <laughs> thing of put it into gear. I did not. Um, she's already tried to speed through Bar Calden. <laughs> it was not. Um, yeah, so I don't know how we're gonna go. Oh look, big rooster on top of a shed for the Western produce. So yeah, she's driving. Um, no idea if we're gonna make it or not. 
she's got a she's just coming up to like a, a 40k an hour s bend so <laughs> if the van if, if the camera suddenly starts going like that then it means yeah she's gone a bit too quick so yeah we'll just see how we go yeah so but no bar calling definitely recommend you stop in there and have a look Alrighty guys, gotta go, my son's calling. Bye. Good morning from sunny Emerald. Uh, we got in here yesterday afternoon and we're currently at the Emerald Tourist Park. We stayed here once before, but this time, yeah, no new owners and he's really done a good job of the place. Quite a nice spot. We're on a powered site um, again, but as you can see, cracking day again. Uh, today we're heading off to Clareview to go and start Barra Crab um, for a night or two nights. It's a great little spot out at Clareview. Um, I only had one pretty substantial issue with the van yesterday. Uh, the aircon in the back has crapped itself out coming up with a um, Ericade. So yeah, we were just using it as a fan last night with the windows open. But that didn't mean that Donna still didn't steal all of my blanket during the night. Uh, woke up and it gotten a little bit chilly. I've woken up and I'm looking for my blanket. I'm going, I've got none around me. Look over and it's completely draped over Donna. So even in a tiny little van, she had her blanket because oh, she was apparently top. laying on top of her blanket. Um, so she felt the need to steal mine instead of hopping onto hers. What are your thoughts on the subject, Donna? Well, that's the way because I get cold. I try to snuggle, you move away. So I steal your blanket. Maybe a bit of payback. <laughs> yeah, don't think it works that way. But now apart from that, everything's going quite well on the van. We're still yeah happy with it still between this and the motorhome we're still yeah nah, much prefer the motorhome but obviously it's all going to come down to dollars once we've sold the house uh which way we're going to go because i don't want to get a loan i just yeah would prefer not to because that sort of defeats the purpose of what we're going to be doing but yeah no we'll do more videos out on the road i'm still trying to get donna to learn to use a camera while we're driving because there's a lot of stuff we could be like taking pictures or videos um she believes in melt mental photos not ones that i can actually put up but yeah we're getting there we're getting there it's still early all righty we'll talk later